Hey, what's up, YouTube? Little man with the big opinion here. Uh, sitting in front of the computer, going over, uh, you know, the latest numbers for the old coronavirus. Uh, looking at YouTube, working on some schoolwork, and got me thinking. Uh, I want to do another uh, video talking about bugging in uh, and why. That's my ultimate goal, why, um, you know, I have a plan to bug out, but it's the absolute last resort. I don't want um, that to, you know, be the first reason and just give you all the things I have, you know, mapped out and why, uh, you know, I chose, chose that. So, uh, for a history class, uh, I was reading about the... Siege of uh, Candia. Um, it is modern day. It's in uh, Crete now, um, and it was a twenty-one year long siege. Um, lasted from sixteen forty-eight to sixteen sixty-nine. Um, you know, it happened in between. I think it happened in between a couple of. No, my bad. Um, it was a place that was conquered shortly after the Fourth Crusade. Um, and essentially, it was a nice spot right in the middle. Two sides wanted it. Um, and one side got a good enough excuse to attack the other one. Um, very, you know, very brief. The only thing you really need to know is that the siege lasted for 21 years. Um, the entire island system, um, basically, uh, you know, the city of, uh, Candia was the, the city that survived for 21 years. Uh, most of the surrounding area was captured within about a year, and then they held out forever, um, they asked the rest of Europe because they were a Christian country and they were being attacked uh, by the Ottoman Empire. Um, asked for help, they didn't get help. Nearing the end, the French decided to help and then they didn't want to fight anymore, so they left. And um, uh, Candia lost like 70,000 troops and the Ottomans lost like 90,000 troops. So it was, it was a pretty big deal. Um, but it goes back to the idea of your home is your castle. Um, and I know I don't have the supplies to survive for 21 years, you know, without leaving. Um, and I don't have, you know, the grass or the plot of land at the moment to, uh, you know, continuously grow all the food you need for the people and the soldiers. Um, within your, you know, theoretical castle. If you build a castle, that's cool. Uh, but what I do have is six months worth of food saved up, and it's continued to grow. Um, and I can safely say I can't carry all that food. Um, you know, if I could carry all the food, awesome. But then that limits me to one gun, maybe two uh, guns, rifles, one rifle, maybe two rifles, or one rifle and one shotgun, and one, maybe two pistols. So, not what I want, uh, staying in my location means I have access to the AR and the AR-10 and, you know, all of the military surplus rifles and, you know, the shotgun this and the you can use all the rifles for all of the reasons. Um, you don't have to leave any of your um, precious um, retirement building um, options at home. You know, you're not limited to the one. Um, like, I already mentioned food. I've got six months worth of food here um, for me, the girlfriend, and the cats. See, that's another reason. Uh, I like my cats. You know, obviously I'm going to do as much as I can to protect them and keep them safe and give them a good life. 
Um, I know I could not convince all of the cats to follow me wherever I was going. And I'm not carrying them, and I'm not carrying all the food that they need to survive either. Um, that is where a dog would be a little bit better for this situation. Um, same thing with water. Don't quite have six months worth of water saved up. Um, but, you know, I have more water here day-wise than I have um, the ability to carry. So, you know, going a little bit further back into this battle, um, they held out, you know, obviously being inside your castle, um, you know, the defenders have the advantage. Um, they're obviously the ones fighting for their homes and their town versus someone that's fighting because they were told to come take this land. Uh, and so you've got kind of a reason to fight outside of you're getting paid or you were uh, constructed into your military. Uh, and so, you know, defending your home should be um, mentally something that you want to do. If you're someone that wants to run at the first sign of trouble, you know, maybe you gotta, you know, have that conversation with yourself. Um, next advantage is you should know the surrounding area. Um, you know, for us, we just recently moved, but even then, I've still driven around. Um, you know, I know back on this end, the street's dead end, and shortly past that, it's, you know, the ocean. And then I know... You know, it's mostly townhomes in this area. And then over here's, you know, the little suburb with the houses. And there's mainly these two main roads coming in. So it's it's going to be different for each person. But um, knowing your surroundings um, could play a pretty critical role. Um, maybe if you have people doing, um, you know, some type of Overwatch security. Um you know, you know the two main roads, which, you know, ease of access are going to be the, you know, first place people go to versus, you know, trying to swim around this little um, island and then come back in. Um, they're most likely going to take the roads. Um, and then next, you know, just your defense in general. Um, so, you know, got the door have, you know, the three-inch screws in the door, have the, um, the mounts that you can do, like a brace with a two-by-four. Um, actually, I have enough to do two of that on that door. Don't really know what I'm going to do with the garage door. Or, you know, I'll call it good for now. Um, and then, you know, having wood to board up the windows, and then obviously just being inside of a, you know, brick structure. Versus, you know, it's a little bit different now. You know, obviously, if someone wanted to attack you, um, you know, vehicles for cover. They could use other houses for cover. They can stage in other houses. Um, but you're inside of a fairly well-built um, structure that, you know, a little wood here, maybe some sandbags there, um, you know, creating some fighting positions, and you're good to go. Versus, um, you know, said attacker um, having to try to break in while also being, you know, attacked back. So, hmm, yeah, I think that's it. Um, so that's that's why I want to bug in. You know, all those reasons. Yeah, you know, access to more firearms. Um, you know, I don't have to worry about a shelter. You know, I have a roof. Obviously, the power went out. You can open the windows upstairs, get a breeze in. Um, it, you know, keeps you safe from the elements. Um, it, this is the first place I've had with a fireplace, so, you know, having a, a stock of wood definitely helps. Um, food, I can store way more food in here than I can carry on my back. Um... I already said security. Cats, don't really want to leave them unless I, you know, absolutely had to. You know, it was, you know, 
my life or Kat's life, even then, it would, it would be a hard decision. Uh, yeah, you want pettings? Good kitty. Um, but bugging in versus bugging out, obviously, you know, every person's plan is going to be different. Um, it's just my opinion that you should bug in um, as your first um, instinct and bugging out to last resort. So if you like the video, please leave a like. Uh, if you like what I'm doing with the channel, please consider subscribing. Uh, I am working on a web page um, to start putting some items in the store that I think um, people would be interested in purchasing. Um, so that should be coming out. Yeah, I, I don't know when it's coming out. Um, and then I am strongly considering setting up a Patreon. Um, so with that, I'll catch you later, guys. Peace.